Hi everybody and welcome to our CD weaving project. Um, on the screen right now you see some projects that were completed by students in the past. And you can see they're very colorful. It's a weaving project. Um, I think it's fun and I think it's a good skill for you to learn how to use a needle and thread because I don't think a lot of people do that anymore. Um, and these look great hung up in the hallway on display. And so let's get started. So the first thing, I created these kits for everybody. I call it the CD weaving kit. What's in your kit? Um, here's the thing too, if you are a remote learner, there are kits in the front office. I've sent an email, I put a note in Canvas. Um, if you haven't already got it, please send somebody up to school to get that for you. Um, what's in your kit? Let's, let's break it down. Um, if you open up your kit and you take everything out, you have some balls of yarn. You have your needle that you'll use, the CD, and you also have um, this twine. Um, it's kind of like a thin paracord. Um, it'll either be this color or there's red. I had both, so either one is fine. You can feel the difference between this and then yarn. Yarn's real squishy. This is a cord. Um, so to get started, we will, I have a few started here. Um, you'll take your paracord and you put it through the center and you want to double knot it. It doesn't want to stay knotted, so as you're working, this is probably going to come undone. Don't worry about it, just keep knotting it. So kind of knot it at the end there and then once you have it to the end, move it to the center. You want it here, okay, in the back. You might have to hold your finger on there. And then, oh, actually the back side is, um, this is the back side. We want the silver side up. So put this towards the center right there. After you've knotted it twice, pull it tight. It might take a little bit of strength, but you're young, you're strong, you can do this thing. Okay, so then let's, oh, I got a little knot. Let me get unknotted here. Take the end of this and you're going to drop it through the center. And pull it. And maybe hold it kind of tight. And we'll take it again. It's a little tricky at first because it's long, but you just keep dropping that string into the center and going underneath and pulling it through. Okay, I'll do it one more time for you on the camera. Now as you're doing it, you want to pull it tight-ish, so it's not super loose and sloppy. And as you're pulling on the one side, you're using your other hand with your thumb to hold that down. Okay, go ahead, get back to the end of your string again. Back to the end, drop it through, and then Take your hand, go underneath, and pull. So you'll repeat this until you got to 11. You want 11 spokes, one, two, three, four. So I only have four here, I need 11. It needs to be an odd number, otherwise the weaving won't work out right, okay? So <clears throat> I'm going to take my other example piece. So here's my other example piece. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Count and make sure because sometimes it looks like it and it's not. So I have eleven. They move kind of easily on here, but they're tight. And what I did was is when I got to my end of the string after I'm dropping it through the hole, I I meet up with my first one and I knot it to that and then I double knot it and I would even knot it again if I needed to. Um, if you're having issues where it won't knot, you can tape that down even in the back right there. So once I have that knotted, I'll go ahead and I'll trim my string. And now I have my 11 spokes and this is what we will use to um, that's where we'll go through with our yarn. We weave over and under on those. So now 
you want to take your needle. This is my needle. And did you know the needles have an eye? Not that they can see, but that's called the eye of the needle right there. So take some of your yarn, take a color, take a, a little bit. You don't need a lot off of there. I don't unwind it a couple of times and then cut it. And then to thread a needle, take your yarn and kind of squeeze it with your thumb and your nail. So it's sort of flat. Go ahead and push it through that eye and then you pull it. Um, so pull it this way. I've got about six inches of my tail right there with my needle. And I'm gonna pull tight on my needle and my yarn and straighten it out. Now at this point here, what happens is a lot of kids think they want to tie a knot. They should tie a knot. Don't knot this. You don't need to knot it. If you have a long enough tail, you'll be able to pull this whole string through without a problem. Okay, so don't tie any knots. No knots needed. And then we will start on our CD wheel. So we want to go underneath the twine, over the twine over and under, over and under. So you're going every other one. It's easier to start out at the edge. Keep going around and around. Now once you've made it around one time, it would be a good idea to pull on your yarn. Okay, pull it until you've got like a little tail. This little tail, don't worry about, poke it through the back side. Okay, we'll deal with that little tail later. So now you've made it around one time and you want to adjust that first layer so that it's around the edge. The first time around is the hardest. I think it's a little easier as you keep going. So, and follow that pattern over, under, over, under, adjusting as you're going and pulling kind of gently. You don't want to pull too hard, but you don't want it to be too loose either. Over, under, and just keep going. And it's almost mesmerizing and relaxing and it will turn out to look very nice. So what you want to do as you're going along is just make sure your rows are laying nice and flat. If you pull too tight, they'll all go towards the center and you will be doing this forever. <clears throat> so, oh, my camera's blurry, I apologize. And keep going and it'll be really nice and I would go around you can use up this th this color if you like and then um, when you're ready to switch to a new color you don't have to knot anything just go to the end let the string hang out a little bit what will happen is in the end we will tuck all those strings into there okay um, so if you like, you could do like three rows of one color. You could switch up your colors as much as you want, or you could have giant bands of color. Um, but you should have enough yarn to complete this. Um, so I would just keep going, and we want to get all the way to the end, okay? Let me show you something here. Now this one here, it, it looks a little lopsided. Um, these center stitches are super tight and they didn't have to be. On the flip side, I think it looks great. I like that it's um, asymmetric like that, but that's the reason why. So um, you have to find a happy medium with your weaving, not too tight and not too loose, okay? Um, so good luck and email me with any questions.